Joined by Durham's Home Manager Adam Gustafson after Durham's 2-1 win over Berrytown this evening. Gus, after a weekend's 4-0 defeat, the boys really got stuck in tonight. You've got to be pleased. Oh, it was a brilliant reaction um, and, it, and that's what's needed. I think in this league, you know, anyone can beat anyone. And I think it's those reactions, if you do have a bad result or a bad performance, that really, really, really count and are really important. And um, tonight's reaction was, was, was spot on. Um, a real tough game, you know, and sometimes that can work one of two ways. If, you know, you've had a battering like we did on Saturday, you then got another tough one at home on the Tuesday. It's, it's a lot, you know, mentally for the lads to then have to, you know, get themselves going and, and perform in front of the home fans again. And I thought it was a real, real dogged, gutsy display. Needed a bit of everything to win the game, um, but I felt we deserved it. You know, I thought they had a lot of, lot of the ball, a lot of territory, but they didn't really hurt us. We were happy that they were playing it out wide to full backs and cutting back inside and, and not really hurting us and everything was in front of us. And um, like I say, a real dogged display, but I felt we were good value for the win and a big win for us. Three goals in the first half. It opened up in the second half. Chances at both ends. It could have been three or four. But a great defensive performance as well. Rossi clearing off the line. But did you feel that you were holding on towards the end? Yeah, I think there was. I think, yeah, that, that there was definitely um, probably from yeah the last 10, 15 minutes, I think it was a case of we were probably holding on a little bit, but in a controlled way, if that makes sense. I didn't feel as though it was last-ditch defending or they were getting in behind us and missing chances. They've had one good chance in the second half where the lads hit the post um, from a ricochet inside the box. The one where Rossi's cleared the ball off the line, I think it's a foul on, on Elliot who's come out and punched the cross away and got clattered. So I think that would have, should have been a foul anyway. And then Reese has had two one-on-ones in the second half um, and we've had another really, really good chance, three-on-three, three, which we somehow didn't end up with a shot. So, um, you know, in terms of clear-cut chances, I didn't think they really created many. For all the possession they had, I didn't think they did create much. And um, I think that's testament to how well we defended. And I think you're right, I thought our, our back three, as it was today, were outstanding, all three of them. Um, really, really defended the box brilliantly, didn't give any space in behind. When players were in and around the box, they got out and blocked shots. Um, but I have to say, in front of them as well, everyone worked so, so hard. And they needed to, because Berry are a good side, who will expect to be up there at the end of the season. Um, and to, to, to beat them like we have tonight is, uh, you know, a, a good marker for us and a yardstick for where we're, we're, we're currently at. You touched on the back three. Was it the weekend 4-0 defeat which made you think it's time for a change? Um, it, yes, a little bit. And then also the way that Berry play. So we all know what Berry do. They play with a, a diamond, and arrow four in midfield. So it was about having bodies in central areas for us in those areas to make sure they didn't play through us. Um, when Berry is successful, it's because they can play through the thirds, got four midfielders that are comfortable on the ball, and then they play through you. And I felt we stopped that well. And if you looked at what they done, everything went out to the full backs, which we were comfortable with that happening. Um, that was part of our game plan, um, which we were comfortable with that. And I go back to it, you know, they'll probably say, well, we had loads of the ball, and on the balance of that, we deserve something from the game. I don't subscribe to that at all. I think we've controlled them defensively from our perspective and we've made them play in areas where we're comfortable and uh, and that's part of what you need to do to win a game of football so partly from Saturday where we were we were too open and too exposed but also partly with how Berry play and how we wanted to, to set up against that. And speaking of Rossi it must be good to have him back what does as he add? Well, Ro well Rossi adds so much to, to us as a team. Um, I had a couple of chats with Rossi after Saturday just to make sure that he's, uh, he was right for tonight to come back into the side because he obviously hasn't played for probably coming close to two months now and, um, and, and, and has you know, not trained really with us. So, um, but I knew what his impact or his influence, I should say, would be on, on tonight. And um, he, he's just class. Like he, he's, he's reading of the game, his understanding of when to speed things up, slow things down, his ability to just control a game from the, the centre of the back, uh, centre of the back three, which he done tonight, um, and then his contributions at both ends, like you say, the clearance off the line, and he goes and gets the winner as well for us. So, a fantastic return from him, and you know we, we know what he brings as a player, hence why we work so hard and we're so keen to get him across to the club uh, for this season. So, um, but he, he, you know, you're right to single him out, but there was, you know, I thought it was a real team performance tonight and I felt everyone 
everyone worked their socks off to, to get the result tonight. And, um, and that's what you have to do in this league. And if we just sat here in August and said, right, November time, starting to get cold, and you're up to second in the league, would you have believed that would have been something that could have been done? Um, I'm not too, genuinely, I, pro I promise everyone, I'm not too fussed about where we are because it means nothing. And I think the more we talk about where we are, if we're in a good place, like, you know, we're second at the minute, I think we then start to almost believe that we've achieved something and we've achieved absolutely nothing. And I think it's really important that we know that. Um, we want to win games, obviously. We want to be at the right end of the table, of course. But I don't think we need to get fixated on where we are at the moment. I think that comes into it into the new year. I think if we're second going into February, March time, I'll start to think, yeah, okay, we now need to seriously assess we're second and, and what that means and can we make sure we stay there or, or, or can we win it sort of thing. But we're nowhere near that point and uh, therefore I don't think it does us any favours by looking at it like that at the moment. Um, we just got to keep trying to win games of football. Um, tonight, big game, we've won it, great, keeps us, keeps us going, great reaction from Saturday. Um, and if, as long as we keep doing that and as long as we keep performing um, well, then you know, naturally we'll obviously stay in a, in, a, in a decent league position. No chat would be complete without an injury update. Andrew Fisk went off injured in the second half, looked like a hamstring. Any updates on him? Yeah, I think, I th do you know what? I think it was a really, uh, look, look, obviously we won the game, so you can sort of sat now. I thought it was a really probably mature decision from Fisky, probably from us as well. Because I think there was a minute or two there where we were trying to keep him on the pitch. And I think we said after the game, um, I think if we'd have done that and we'd have tried to have kept him on the pitch, I think it would have got worse. And I think we'd have been without him for probably three or four weeks. So I think it was mature from him to understand his body and where he was at. And we resisted the temptation to keep him on because he's such an important player for us. Um, but I think it was the right decision all round. And then you've got Robbie Linford who comes on and does great. You know, and that's the beauty of this season. We've got a player like that who can come on and just fill the gap and does a great job for the team, um, you know, off the bench. So that makes that decision to get Fisky off a bit easier because you know you've got somebody that you can trust to go in and do the job. So, um, yeah, I think, touch wood, he'll be OK for Saturday because I think we've got him off at the right time and I think it's more of a, he can now work himself back to, to be right for Saturday, whereas I think another five, ten minutes and he might have pulled it and I think we might have had a bigger problem on our hands. And Saturday, another big game away to Brentwood. Three games in a week, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. This is where the squad comes in useful. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it does. And um, Saturday is a very different game to today. Um, I know that Brentwood have come to watch us tonight. So, um, you know, I know that they'll, that they'll have looked at what we've done tonight. But, um, you know, that's bide or bye. We'll go there with an approach as to how we think we can win, win the game and get a result. And... That might well be different to uh, what we were tonight. Personnel, shape could be completely different. We'll have to see who we've got fully fit and, uh, and we'll make a decision from there. But we've got a squad this year. You know, you look at the squad tonight and um, we've still got injuries. You know, players that aren't right, that are getting through games or on the bench and probably not quite there yet. Um, but we have, when we've got everyone, we've got, you know, we think 16, 17 lads that can compete at this level. Um, and that's probably the first time I felt we've had that, so um, it's about trying to obviously keep them fit, keep them right, and uh, pick the the right you know squad and team for for each game. Dear in town two, Berry Town one. Well done, Gus. Three points. Cheers, mate. Thank you.